morning YouTubers, Master Gravitron back for another Figma review because I'm addicted to them. This time it's of awesome space samurai chick called Mia Mitsuragi. Mitsuragi, don't quote me on the pronunciation. <laughs> Never been good with Japanese pronunciation. But she's from, I think it's a dating simulator called Mi Louvre. And this is some sort of alternative universe where she's even more awesome. Um, yeah, you can pick her up pretty cheap nowadays. Um, do be careful with all figmas who you buy them from. Um, as you may have seen my Drossel video, uh, not all sellers on eBay are as scrupulous as others. Um, unfortunately for this, I don't think there's any the property owner opted not to have any sort of uh, uh, seal of authenticity so you might be flying a bit blind but to my best of my knowledge there are no counterfeits of this so but that may change hopefully not um, as you can see we can see some of her accessories and we'll get her open and we'll see what we think of her And as you can see, she comes in a standard uh, Figma bubble display. Got some bags and accessories down there. Right, here she is. And we've got her sword. And man, what a nice sword. And you can even see all the, the grip, binding work and everything. Heck, you can even see the detailing on the... Uh, the guard there that's pretty cool and of course it fits in the sheath which is also pretty amazing and it's got some ribbon wrapped around there sort of waving in the wind and of course it come comes with the obligatory figma bag um, only six sets of hands this time instead of the usual eight uh, we've got I have fingers hands, we've got calm hands, we've got more I have fingers hands, we've got fists. Alrighty, and we've got an extra angry face. And on to the main course. This is Mia herself. And as you can see the amount of detail is just just incredible. Every single one of these little red dots is painted absolutely expertly. Even down to the tiny little lights on her boots. I particularly love this long ribbon she's got on her hair. <laughs> it's quite ridiculous but quite charming. And of course her ponytail's even got a bit of articulation. Oh. Fortunately the front of the head hairpiece on mine is a little on the loose side. Alright, as for articulation, she's got standard articulation. These shoulder pads are on a on a soft sort of hinge, so they don't get in the way too much. But in and out, the arms are very tight on mine. Ooh. And yes, the, the hands are a little, a little on the loose side. But all the sort of articulation you'd come to expect from a Figma. The uh, hands have even got a, a wrist swivel, which... I'm not too sure what real advantage they give, other than doing hi. Yeah. And there you got amazing, amazing leg articulation and even a little bit of foot articulation down there. It's very stiff though. Um, she's got the one hand that's on there at the moment is exclusively for holding sayer or scabbard um, it just does it through a very loose friction fit and it is a little disappointing I would have preferred a peg in, as opposed to just a friction grip because although it will hold without any assistance if you're trying to pose her it is very annoying to constantly have it just fall off so I tend to just have to put it at a side. Of course the other hand is exclusively for holding a sword. And that 
fits in very snugly, a little too snugly. I'm quite worried about it um, chipping off any, any of that black paint on her hands. But as you can see, she can wield that around like a pro. She does, of course, come with the standard issue Figma stand, and you just she's got to plug in the back here. And now you can get into all sorts of cool poses. The only thing I found was a bit disappointing is she's got virtually got no neck articulation at all. Not even side to side really, which was a bit disappointing. But she does have waist articulation that so that makes up for for a certain to a certain extent. And while she's cooperating, let's get her different head on. And it's just the standard figma affair, take the front of the hair off. Swap the face around, pop the hair back on. So you see she's ready for action. The ponytail flailing in the wind. So, yeah. very, very cool figure. Even have it. If you're patient enough, you can even have her doing some Oranishi style using the scabbard as a weapon as well but again the very the, the friction nature of that does mean it will fall off at the just having to look at it looking just looking at it wrong and we'll just we can change to maybe a, a fist. Oh. She's ready to bust some suckers. <laughs> but yeah, very, very cool action figure. The only thing I wish is the hands fitted a bit more snugly. But they do give you a huge amount of articulation. You can get into all the fewer. Patron of the samurai arts, you could probably get her into all sorts of proper poses, which any poses I know are the cool anime ones. <laughs> so, overall, I would recommend her, but you may just have to do some beefing, you may just have to beef up some of the hand pegs with some super glue just to. Uh, give them a little bit more friction between them so they don't fall out every time you handle her but that's me Master Gravitron signing out <laughs>